Good day, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to Felix GX version 4.1, where we'll be going through some tutorials on how to configure your instrument out of the box. So we want to thank you for purchasing a PTI instrument. And I know you're anxious to get started, so we'll go and we'll build a hardware configuration that'll control the instrument. And then from there, we'll go on and we'll do some tutorials on how to do the various scans on the instrument. First thing you want to do is once launching Felix 4.1 is to go to the configure menu and choose hardware. There will be a blank hardware configuration. And what you want to do is build a configuration by saying new and we're going to choose a steady state quantum master which is a QM40 instrument. Next thing we must do is define the light source. It's going to be a xenon arc lamp. You can see there's a few choices here. Next, you'll want to configure your monochromator. This monochromator here is a double mono, so I'm going to check on the checkbox. Standard monochromators, you would not check this on. Right, next, we'll move the monochromator motor to channel 1. It's the default position. And the emission monochromator motor is going to be configured to channel 3. And next, we'll configure the detector, which is a R928 photomultiplier and it's in a 914 housing so we're going to choose this housing. The default gain will be about 950 volts and the input port we're going to choose digital 1. All right, we want to change the pulse pile up to 113 for the 914 digital housing. Okay, So these are all the settings that are required for the instrument. Next thing we can do is validate the configuration and if we've made any mistakes you can see down here It'll show up if we forgot something. It'll remind us to change some settings. So this one has validated successfully. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to save this configuration. I'm going to call it Save As. And this system is a QM40. So I'm going to call it QM40. This display checkbox will cause the configuration to display over here on the toolbar so you have quick access to your hardware configuration. Once you've done that, you can say OK and close the hardware configuration, and then the instrument will begin to initialize the hardware. Right? Depending on your instrument, initialization can take anywhere from 10 seconds to 20 seconds, uh, depending on the number of motors and motorized slits and the various accessories that you have attached here. So right now, the instrument is searching for the I.O. interface. And now the monochromator motors are initializing. And now the hardware is configured and you're ready to start your very first experiment.